Lion and Little Mouse. It was noon in the boundless African savanna. The scorching sun was heating up the sand and stones. After enjoying a hearty meal, Lion made himself comfortable for a nap in the shade of a lone tree. That day he had stalked his prey for several hours, so he fell asleep as soon as he lay down on the ground. But within five minutes, a little mouse began to run over his body. Little Mouse climbed onto Lion's tail. Then he ran along his long back and sat down on his forehead. Can you imagine that? A tiny mouse was sitting on the forehead of the King of Beasts. Incredible! What a bothersome pest, roared Lion, and caught Little Mouse with his mighty paw. It happened so quickly that frightened Little Mouse could not utter a word. Then Lion held the insolent little creature to the ground and continued to sleep. He decided that a good nap was more important, and he could deal with Little Mouse later. The scorching sun continued to roast the ground, but Lion felt comfortable in the shade of a tree. The same cannot be said about Little Mouse still lying under Lion's paw. Lion, please forgive me, sobbed Little Mouse. Forgive me, and it will never happen again. But Lion only yawned and continued to sleep. The King of Beasts' deep breath rustled the grass around his nose. Would Little Mouse dare to wake him up again? Little Mouse tried to get out from under the heavy paw, but of course he failed. Little Mouse was silent for a long time. But nevertheless, he dared to say, I will never forget your kindness, and maybe one day I will do something useful for you. At this, Lion woke up. He was greatly amused with the idea that Little Mouse could be of help to him. But he raised his mighty paw and let Little Mouse go. Run, and don't look back. Today I forgive you for your insolence, Lion said. A few days later, rumors spread across the savanna that hunters had caught Lion. Even parrots shouted about it in the sky, and hippos muttered under their breath. And greedy hyenas had already begun to divide the territory and decide which of them would be the new king. They told Little Mouse, that hunters had put Lion in an iron cage and were going to take him away from Africa on the next ship. Nobody knew what would happen to Lion after that, 
If he was lucky, he would entertain people in the circus until the end of his life. Little Mouse remembered Lion's kindness and immediately set out to help him. On the way, he met Antelope and asked her, Did you see where the hunters took Lion? No, I didn't. But most likely one of the animals at the watering hole knows about it, answered Antelope in surprise. Little Mouse ran on and soon reached a small lake. Animals from all over the savanna gathered together on the shore of the lake every day and they had a hard and fast rule that no one could bother anyone at the watering hole. Everyone was equal there. Did you see where they took Lion? asked Little Mouse loudly. The hunters took the cage with Lion to their camp. He is in the forest answered Parrot. Little Mouse ran on and soon found the cage in the forest. Sad and tired, Lion lay on the floor of the cage. Judging by the look of him, Lion had resisted for a long time but was powerless against the people with weapons. Hello, Lion. Oh, Little Mouse, it's you, answered the King of Beasts. As you can see, I was unlucky. Little Mouse examined the cage. The foolish hunters instead of using a padlock, had wrapped a rope around the door. Little Mouse smiled and easily gnawed through it with his sharp teeth. You are free, said Little Mouse with pride. Lion immediately ran out of the cage put Little Mouse on his shoulder, and rushed home to the savanna. Later in the day, Lion called all the animals to the watering hole. He leaped to a high stone, put Little Mouse on his mighty paw, and lifted him high up. Look here, everybody. Little Mouse has saved my life today. And from now on, he is my friend. Never in a million years could Lion have imagined that a little mouse could become his best friend. <laughs>